it's time for some upgrades for the 103 to get this thing ready for summer. Start with the uh, cylinder head set up here. Never a bad idea to double check the flatness in case this was made on Friday. Looks pretty darn good to me. Go ahead and get the decomp assembled here. Now the decomp is going to get torqued to the cylinder head to 27 foot-pounds. Next the uh, spring goes into place. Next up I got the little lever here and that hole goes on the spring and then I need to make sure that the holes in the valve stem are aligned with these little holes here on those ears and then I'm going to force this down and slide the pin into place Now I need to pull the old Parma kit head off and while I'm at it, I'm going to see what the bore looks like. While I wouldn't say it's necessarily horrendous and I do think it'll rip for the rest of the summer, this thing has clearly been running very, very rich and there isn't too much left of the cross hatch. It's uh, fairly glazed over, but man, it still rips and it's still making power and it hasn't seized or melted down yet. So I think I'm gonna leave the jug alone. So these CDI kits are sweet, but they have one kind of unfortunate flaw, and that's with the uh, flywheel nut. So there aren't enough threads in my opinion exposed on the snout of the crankshaft here check this out so I get there's a half turn one turn one and a half so like maybe if I'm being generous this gets like two and a half threads which is not very good and in my opinion it's asking to have it stripped out so what I did with this last time the last one of these engines I built I uh, actually bored down the flywheel so that more of the crankshaft threads were exposed so that the nut would have more to bite onto so I have the crank the flywheel and the case marked and now I'm going to use my special little puller here to go ahead and remove this bad boy. So I milled down the inside about four and a half millimeters. I'll still have a decent amount of purchase area for the socket and this will have a lot more uh, thread engagement on the crankshaft. You know, funny enough, this is uh, M10 by 1 thread pitch, and the uh, socket I have that fits the best is this 5 8 that I sanded flush so it's extra sharp and it should, should work pretty nicely to torque it. Now, but first I'm going to put some anti-seize on the tapered portion of the crankshaft, and then I'm going to put some oil on the threads to, to prevent everything from getting any rustier. That's one of the tricky things about these CDI kits is you can't fit the cover on anymore so it makes everything exposed to the elements. Alright so I got my lovely assistant holding the clutch bell and now I'm going to try and torque this thing. Let's shoot for at least 25.
the head gasket that I'm using for this is just a Molosi and it's uh, I think it's basically the same material as a crush washer. And these get torqued to eight foot pounds. Now I'm gonna get the decompression cable hooked up. Should be pretty straightforward. In order for this thing to start easily, I'm gonna add a uh, choke to it. And to do that, I got a little bendy piece that we're going to attach and then uh, install the cable. Hopefully it should work. You know what's funny about this is uh, this tells you how reliable French stuff is because you put Italian parts on your French moped to make it faster and more reliable. All right, now the float pole's going back on. It's a 79 jet, which is, yeah, it's really fat, but um, I think I'll start leaning it out later on. For now, I just wanna see how it's gonna run with all the new additions. Well, the goal of having this thing up and ripping without a drill is successful. Hopefully I can get it up to 60 miles an hour. That's the goal. <laughs> 